You know, in uh, 1990, when I came on the council, when I was first elected to the council, it was a city not unlike uh, other urban cities that had a population that was older, sicker, and poor. Um, but the District of Columbia is extremely unique, and it had many other problems that no other city has. And because of that, the city really was in financial crisis. I came onto the council during a time when there was a retrenchment of public funds. Um, the infrastructure of the city was in great need. Um, people were, uh, businesses were not coming to the city. They didn't want to do business. And the challenge was, how do we turn this around? Uh, one was to make the council a respected body, uh, an equal branch of the government, to bring about a balanced budget, to negotiate with the federal government, um, to deal with some of the issues and problems. We were able to eliminate the financial authority because we made good budgets. We balanced our budget as a city and as a government. We started courting businesses, trying to get them to come into the city. Ward 8, an area that had lost so much housing, we had more brand new housing starts in Ward 8 than the rest of the city combined. And we started getting people to stay in the district, people who left the district to come in, young professionals, black and white, to move into the District of Columbia. There's so much that the district has to offer now, and this is because of hard work done by many, the council, uh, the mayor, Tony Williams at that point, and an awful lot of other people who put in an awful lot of time and hard work to improve the quality of life for our citizens in our District of Columbia. I would like to uh, thank the Urban League for uh, this honor. It is greatly appreciated. And thank my family. Uh, whatever I accomplished, it was because of uh, their help, uh, and their support, my husband in particular, who was really a partner in uh, whatever I accomplished. And I would like to also thank the citizens of the District of Columbia for giving me an opportunity to serve them and serve the city.